Time for more Atom. Numbers five and six. These came today, so let's see what we've got. Now, these ones don't have a uh, magazine like the other ones did. The others had the magazine stuck to the front, but these ones are just a box, so we'll see what's inside. Number five looks like we got the front face, like this one's an open-eyed version. The first one we got was closed eyes. And we got the uh, bit of the front hair, a uh, battery pack, and a few other bits and pieces there. And then on the number six, we've got the hair on the back of the head. It looks like the, I guess, the skull, the back of the, the head under the hair. And some other bits, there's like a point of hair that sticks out the side. So we'll open up five and see what's inside. Get this thing open. Looks like it's just got a little thin magazine inside, which is nice. Means I don't have to cut the cardboard and whatnot. It's all just a single magazine. So there we go. Battery pack, some wires, looks like the eyebrows there, some screws and open-eyed face and the hair. So we'll rip this apart. Ah, oh, there's the screws. Now, this magazine, what do we get? Another subscription thingy? Some sort of book, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Oh look, Boston Dynamics robot. Cool. Progression of Atom from 1951 to 2003. More stuff about Atom. Oh, Raspberry Pi. So this is using the Raspberry Pi 3 as we found in the uh, earlier episode. It looks like it sits in the back. So that's like his, his back's been taken off and you got the Raspberry Pi there. Little uh, kind of like a shield breakout board that sticks on the GPIO pins. And that will be interfacing with the, like the main board or whatever. The main control board at least. Which sits in his waist there. Maybe they use the, uh, the USB as well or something. So talking about the Pi Zero as well. And then what we're doing today. So let's get to it. And get this one done. Here's our stuff from last episode. So number one, we want to put the eyebrows in. All right, and the three screws. Looks like silver screws for here. Eyebrows done. Now it looks like, what's this? Oh, that goes on there. So it must be multiple face plates you can get. Or maybe that's just maybe that's just a faceplate for being asleep. Good question. But we've got to put screws in. 
to screw the front, the closed eyes face onto the frame, onto the front of the skull or whatever it is. Alright, and the hair goes on here. Two more screws. Ba ba. Okay, now we need to dig out this one. because it looks like that goes in there like that and there are some screws And, aha, this one is for our servo. And that's it. For this book. Okay now let's grab the next one see what I've got inside here another magazine another bunch of parts The usual little upsell thing. And we got more robot stuff. Musio. Got no idea what that is. I'd say it's something to do with music. Some sort of centre things. Plugs in the back. Shows you. Looks like a LED display shows you emotion, sadness, calm, surprise, dizzy, upside down, anger, trust. Uh, oh, how the servos work. For the gears and all that sort of stuff.
some dude with a thing going on. And here we are with the good stuff. Okay, so number one, this goes there, and we put a screw Okay, and it looks like that was it for this episode, well this book anyway. So a few spare screws left over which I will put into our little screw box. That will go on like that. With that inside, and I guess that's the uh, looks like a servo holder of some description, or that's going to hold something. I wonder how that will work. Ah, looks like the servo bolts onto that, and that will then bolt to their head or something. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, this episode, that's all we've got. Getting the head a bit closed up battery holder there for the servo and a few extra bits ready for the next episode alright don't forget we got that patreon going so check it out keep watching videos and we'll see you next time